Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Today, I'm talking about Alabama's defensive packages post-spring football. Definitely hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. We're going to talk about the 3-4 package, the 4-2-5 package, the Nickel Rabbits package, as well as the Dime Rabbits package. And we'll start out with Alabama's base package After the announcement that Henry Toa Toa from Tennessee is transferring to Alabama, as you can see on the screen, it's a lot of firepower within the base package. You're not going to see this package too many times. And let's talk about this package. We'll talk about each formation, kind of focusing within the front seven. Then we'll talk about the secondary and other guys that could potentially get some rotation within this defensive front. So looking at the base 3-4 package, let's start at the bottom of your screen. As you can see, Alabama... They have so much talent really everywhere, but on that defensive line this year coming back, a lot of guys with a lot of experience. LeBron Ray in this particular package, along with DJ Dell and Justin Abogbe, both of those guys, your defensive ends, and then DJ Dell, your defensive tackle. Very solid front three. And then um, the guys in the back, you got William Anderson and Chris Allen crashing off the edge. Christian Harrison, Henry Toa Toa, or, you know, let, let's think about it. I mean, you got um, now Jalen Moody. You also got Shane Lee. But let's just put Henry Toa Toa there for sake that he wins out that spot. There's going to be a lot of competition going into um, the summer season and early fall camp. But for uh, the front seven, that looks stacked. Love the edge right here between William Anderson and Chris Allen. Jalen Armour, Davis, and Josh Job at the corner spots. Now, keep in mind that Kyrie Jackson is getting here this summer. We've talked about Kyrie Jackson plenty. I think going into fall camp, if there's one position battle that is going to take place, it's going to be Jalen Armour Davis versus Kyrie Jackson. Where can Kyrie Jackson play? Where can he fit in with this team? Is he capable to come in and earn a starting spot? We'll have to see, but... Post spring football, it was Jalen Armar Davis winning that spot. And then behind them, you have Jaquincy Kool Aid McKinstry um, along with Josh Job. So those are your corners. And as you know, Ronald Williams hit the transfer portal. The safety spot is going to be interesting in this base package. Again, Alabama doesn't show this package too many times. Um, But for sake of this graphic, Jordan Battle, DeMarco Helms, it could be interesting to see if Malachi Moore uh, replaces DeMarco Helms in this particular package. So let's kind of track that going forward. Moving on to the 425 package, I mean, look at look at the depth up front again. You know, you got William Anderson, Tim Smith, DJ Dell, Justin Abogbe. I mean, we saw so much from Tim Smith during the 2020 season. I think when you look to break through seasons for particular players, this could be one of the particular players that really screams that he's the top defensive lineman coming up within the entire SEC, if not the entire country. I think his ceiling is unlimited. You have Christian Harrison, again, Henry Toa Toa slash Jalen Moody at that inside linebacker position. And then look at the secondary within that 4-2-5 package. Um, You got Jalen Armour Davis, Malachi Moore, DeMarco Helms, Jordan Battle, Josh Job. I mean, I I think overall the the talent from every single standpoint, whether that's the defensive line across the center of the field or the secondary, I mean, I love this package entirely. Um, You look to the Nickel Rabbits package again, and... Let's start at the bottom of your screen. You've got William Anderson, Chris Allen coming off the edge. Uh, across the center of um, the defensive line, you got Tim Smith and LeBron Ray. LeBron Ray, you know, we're all expecting that big final breakout season for him during uh, his senior season. And then you got Christian Harris, and then you got Henry Toa Toa. Now, keep in mind, when we talk about Christian Harris, yes, he's seen a significant amount of playing time at Alabama, but the one thing that really stands out about him to me is his coverage ability. Remember that Christian Harris played corner safety at the high school level. We saw him make an interception uh, later on in the season in 2020, so he's got some good coverage skills. He's really just a very versatile inside linebacker. Pair that up with Henry Toa Toa. And I'll be curious to see if Henry Toa Toa can play the middle of the field in in terms of a coverage perspective as well as Christian Harris, because I think that's one of the areas that Christian Harris certainly flourishes. The secondary in this Nickel Rabbits package, Jalen Omar Davis, Malachi Moore, DeMarco Helms, Jordan Battle, and Josh Job. Now keep in mind, you got Kyrie Jackson, you got Jaquincy McKinstry, so a lot of talent across the board. And then finally, in that Dime Rabbits package, start at the bottom of the screen, William Anderson, Chris Allen crashing off the edge. Remember behind them, you got Drew Sanders, Chris Broswell, um, King Makuda, other guys who we saw some good things during the springtime and then 
in the center, you got Tim Smith, Fidari Mathis. Fidari Mathis is a player that I think is very underrated when you look at this Alabama defense. Um, inside linebacker, there's only one of them on this Dime Rabbits package. It's going to be Christian Harris. Again, you talk about his ability to play um, in coverage, play in space. And then you got Josh Joe, Brian Branch, Malachi Moore, Jalen Omar Davis. That's ridiculous. You got DeMarco Hellams and Jordan Battle. These guys allow a pass in the Dime Rabbits package. Saban is going to be livid. Pete Golding is going to be livid. Hey, I want to hear from you inside the comment box. When we look at these defensive formations from Alabama, how excited are you about Alabama's front seven, um, the inside linebackers, the outside linebackers, the secondary overall, you know, on paper? And look, there's going to be a lot of changes. There's going to be a lot of rotation. Alabama has some guys coming in this summer that I think are going to fight for starting spots, as we've talked about. But I want to hear from you inside the comment box. What do you think about Alabama's projected defense going into the beginning of the season? Definitely hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. Definitely thank you very much for watching our video. Stay tuned for the next video coming your way right here on BamaInsider.com. From beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Kyle Henderson, BamaInsider.com.